and the food is finished. afternoon. Judd and I and Harlow have recently returned home after a wonderful 10-day trip to Orlando where we also had our Disney vacation, we saw friends and family, and it was wonderful. We are happy to be back home though. You know, while we were on our trip, we were quite busy. I was pushing myself more than I usually do and definitely feel it now. Exhausted. Today is a high pain, low energy kind of day. Of course, the repercussions are so worth it. You know, all of the fun we had, the memories we made. It's about finding a balance. You know, taking it easy, giving my body what it needs and resting, but also living life and not letting my illnesses control every aspect of what I do. But anyways, even when I'm not feeling well, Judd and I need to eat. Well, with me eating, it can be hit or miss. But Judd needs to eat, nevertheless. And I wanted to make another Cooking with Chronically Jackie video because I am making one of the tastiest but easiest recipes I have come up with. So I call this my honey pineapple chicken. Very few ingredients, an easy slow cooker meal, and it tastes so good. I got the inspiration for this from a recipe a long while ago. I don't know what happened to that recipe, so I don't really have anything to link for y'all as far as like a recipe goes, but pretty simple and easy to follow and I'm gonna give y'all all the ingredients and the steps. So what you need are chicken breasts, or I'm sure you could do it with pork too, some kind of meat. Uh, my chicken is thawing out right now. Then I got pineapple juice, honey barbecue sauce. If you only have regular barbecue sauce, you can just add some honey in as well, some minced garlic, and I'm gonna put in some bell peppers. I've not done this yet, but I think bell peppers in this would taste good. So I got my slow cooker here. First thing I add in is just a bit of garlic. Then I put in roughly half a bottle of the honey barbecue sauce. Then I take the pineapple juice and add it as well. And this is where you kind of just guesstimate on the ratios. Like if you want more sauce or you have more meat to cook, you should use more of these items. And you want to get the consistency you like with the barbecue sauce and pineapple juice mixture and the flavor you like. So if you want more of a barbecue taste, use more barbecue sauce. If you want a sweet or pineapple taste, use more pineapple juice. All right, I got it how I like it. So again, the barbecue sauce will make it tangier, pineapple juice will make it sweeter, and you just find what you like. And then based on how much you're cooking or how much sauce you want, just add enough of each. After that, I add the chicken and the bell peppers because I'm adding it this time. I bet onions would taste good in there too. You can really play around with this recipe a lot. And then we slow cook it. Since it's already the afternoon, I'm gonna cook it on high for three hours, but you could also do low for like six and a half or seven hours. And then we wait. It's gonna start smelling very good in here fairly soon. So the entire three hours that this was cooking, I was completely knocked out, very deeply asleep. Still wanna go back to sleep, but the timer on the slow cooker went off magically had somehow managed to wake me up and the food is finished. The chicken comes out very tender, the sauce is good, I tried a bell pepper and that also tastes good and my favorite thing to serve this with is either broccoli or asparagus and some couscous. It goes really well together but you can make it with rice or mashed potatoes or whatever you please. Well there y'all have it, my pineapple honey chicken easy to make and very tasty. But now I am snuggling with my new Christmas gift, bear of Bradley blanket and hippo. You wanna come on the couch? Okay, well, I'm hurting a lot, so you're gonna have to get your own blanket. Harlow, get the blanket. No, 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 no. Remember the tree's there now. 
So the blanket bin is over there. Harla, over there. Get the blanket. Good girl. <laughs> Come on. Oh, <laughs> it's not technically your blanket, but <laughs> all right, that works. Good girl. Thank you. So we have leather couches and even though I keep her nails groomed and in shape of um, her they can still puncture the leather so we lay a blanket down all right hop carla hop good girl hey don't give me your butt oh i just called you up here and you go away from me come here <laughs> oh thank you this one isn't her blanket hers is the one in the top right there uh but i guess it it doesn't really matter and that's funny she went towards the tree because that's where the blanket bin usually is and we did the tree before our vacation and she caught on real quick but I guess since we just got back from vacation she kind of forgot that we had moved it but anyways it's been kind of hard day for me Harlow is also sleepy aren't you oh yes best dog but I accomplished cooking a meal that I Probably will not eat, at least not tonight, but Judd will enjoy it. <sighs> oh, very random question, but I've been watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine on Hulu. I'm about to finish all five seasons, so if y'all have any suggestions for TV shows that are binge-worthy, I've watched The 100, Lost, Judd and I are re-watching Game of Thrones because the last season is coming out in April. So let me know, but if you could give me the title, where to watch it, as in like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and then if you could tell me a little bit about what it's about, that would be awesome. So yeah, sleepy. Probably going to bed now. So with that, Harlow and I will say goodnight, and thanks for joining us on our adventure.